Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we will be creating an ESX server. If you don't know what this is, it is the framework for RP on 5M. Most servers use it. Um, it adds jobs, money, and all that good stuff. I'll just jump in here on editing real quick. This will be going from the beginning of setting up your 5M server, where this is not a, uh, like a resource install. It will be setting it up from the direct beginning. So just keep that in mind. If you already have a server, um, I would recommend going over from the beginning for ESX just because it's so large. Our new easy setup tool which we used last week to create your normal 5m server so if you don't want esx and you just want a normal 5m server go watch that video links in the top of the description anyway let's get started so the few things you're going to need for this is you're going to need the uh, latest uh, recommended build of the windows uh, build all in links in the description you're going to need the an account on the cfx forums if you don't already have one of these it's the 5m forums what this does is it allows you to log into keymaster where you're going to need to set up a key i'll go over how to set up a key in a little while when we go ahead and get to that step but the first thing we're going to do is go over their guide so pretty much it goes over exactly what you have to do but i'm going to go over it in this video as well first step is to go to the artifact server and we're just going to go ahead and click the latest recommended version you're not going to download any of these you're just going to go ahead and download the latest recommended and open this win winzip 7zip winrar whatever you use to open those files even windows um, files can even open these um, and then all we're going to have to do is minimize the background. We're not going to need that right now. And we're going to open up a Windows Explorer tab. And there's a few things we're going to do. First, we're going to click this little down arrow. And we're going to go over to where it says View. And we're going to make sure we have File Name Extensions and Hidden Items on. The reason we're going to make sure these two are checked is because when we're editing in a future video, our server.cfg file, we're going to have to go ahead and edit those into what we want. And you're just going to have a nicer time to edit those files when uh, you can actually see what they are. Anyway, we're going to go down to where that says this PC or wherever your PC is, and you're going to go to your local disk. Whatever your local disk is, you're going to enter this folder. And the reason we're doing it in this folder is because last time when I did it on the desktop a few months back, people ran into a bunch of problems with folder names having spaces, uh, OneDrive getting in the way and stuff like that. So you're just going to make sure you are on your local disk for this uh, tutorial. And you're just going to right click and create a new folder and you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it EX and then server because it's going to be my essentials mode server. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag all those files we just downloaded into this folder and this is actually what's going to run the server these are all the files for it we got to go through the setup to get all your um, settings set up but this is just your main files and um, if you're for some reason your fx server.exe file gets deleted go ahead and reinstall it whitelist it on your uh, whatever your antivirus is or anything you are completely safe with this thousands of people use it just sometimes it gets flagged for some reason then you're just going to go ahead and double click the fx server.exe and it's going to open up a web page to the tx admin log Login. If you're already logged in, um, and it should autofill your terminal, if not, you can get it inside of this here, and it will tell you what your um, pin is. Um, I'm going to blur this out just in case um, it needs something, but I'll be deleting the server later, so it probably won't need to be blurred out. And you're just going to go ahead and click link account. And as long as you are signed in on your CFX um uh, forms account it will go ahead and just say requesting your permission if you aren't already logged in just go ahead and log in it will um, tell you how to log in I'm just gonna go ahead and click yes allow and then it will take a moment and then we'll redirect you to type in a backup password type in whatever backup password you want it can be pretty much anything you want just make sure you remember it in case you lose access to your server go ahead and click save now this is where we're actually going to set everything up we're just gonna go ahead and press next and we're gonna name our server we're gonna name it ex uh, I don't know ex YouTube server or something whatever you want to name it I'm just gonna name it that for that and you're gonna to go to popular templates and this is where you're actually going to uh, click the ESX because this is what you are going to be doing um, and this is where you're going to go ahead and just keep pressing save. You're just going to do it in your C drive TX data. The reason we put it in this folder is because 5M just recommends it and it's easiest then to do there. Go ahead and click save. And then you're just going to go to recipe deployer. This is where we're actually going to go ahead and uh, set in all of our settings. So you can see uh, the name we are installing is Plum ESX, which is a fork of the original EXS. Um, and you can just features 13 jobs, highly configurable, lightweight. Uh, and extendable using all of their stuff and it goes ahead and gives you all of the things required to run the server which you can see is quite a lot and installs a bunch of uh, things already for you as well go ahead and click next and then this is where we're going to get a little bit more complicated get your license key the first thing we're going to need here you're going to go back to your cfx dot server key management this is key master pretty much if you already have a key here you're going to use your existing key mainly because you can only register three keys and you can see i have seven here and it's not going to let me register anymore if i click register it's not going to let me 
So I'm going to use an existing key, but let's go over what you need if you need to make a new key. So if you need to make a new key, if you've never done this before, you'll go ahead and click register. It's going to ask you for a label. You'll just name this home PC, my PC, um, whatever you want to name it because it's your home device. It's going to ask you for a host name. And if it doesn't have a selection saying home host, you'll select other and type in home host yourself. And then it's going to ask you for your IP. To get your IP, you're just going to type in what is my IP for address online and it will go ahead and tell you what your IP4 is at any of the links located here. So I'm gonna click this one and you can see my public IP4 address is this. So I'm gonna take this and I would deploy it over on Keymaster. Click go and it will give you your key. If you want to use an existing key, you're just gonna click on the existing ID and then you're just gonna scroll down to where you can see your key, copy that key, go back to your server deployer and paste it in. Um, obviously, if you've never done this before, it may be a little complicated. Sadly, I can't show you because I don't have any extra keys available to make, but it is quite simple. Hopefully you can work through it. And if you have any questions, they do have a Discord server or a forum you can look at for people who are having similar, prob similar problems to that as well. So we're going to go ahead and install our database and we're going to do this using exam the link in the top of the description. Just go ahead and download the latest file from here for your windows version. Um, and that's just going to be the top link for me on this screen. And when you download it, it's going to download an exe file, which you're just going to execute just like you normally do with any other exe file. And we're actually going to install this into the disk PC folder. Um, if you already have this installed, great, go ahead and open and use your existing one. But if you don't just go ahead and go through the installer, like I am here, it'll ask you for administration perms and just say, yes because it will be installing things to that disk. Um, and what it's going to be installing is you're going to go ahead and install MySQL, Apache, and PHP My Admin. This will let you see everything, and you can uncheck everything on the little installer except for those three. You need Apache, MySQL, and PHP My Admin. Those are the only three you actually need installed. And then you're just going to go ahead and click Next. Once you make sure those have been checked, you can uncheck the other ones if you want. And then you're just going to make sure it's using the default path C dash dash um, the Apache folder. In my case, I changed it in the footage just because I was uh, had two copies installed. But if you have one, just go ahead and install that where it normally is. You can uncheck read more, learn more about all that, and just keep clicking next until it starts actually installing. It could take a little while to install depending on your uh, system status and everything. And that folder will appear. And what will happen is at the end of the installation, it will open up a little GUI you'll see in a few moments. But if it doesn't open that up for you, you're going to go into that installation folder and you're going to find the control panel.exe uh, file and just double click that and it will open up for you whenever it's done installing, which is great. All right, so now that it is done installing, all you're going to have to do is where it says Apache and MySQL, go ahead and click Start, um, and it will take a second to load up. As long as there's no conflicting ports or anything, it will start up almost instantly. And then you're just underneath uh, where it says MySQL, you're just going to click that Admin button, and that Admin button will actually take you to your PHP My Admin page. Um, it will be located at localhost slash PHP My Admin. Um, a few different times, it could change depending on your ports and everything, but by default it will be at phpmyadmin slash or localhost slash phpmyadmin, which you can see here. All right, so you can see I am here on my localhost phpmyadmin, and you can see we're just going to go ahead and create a new um, database uh, username, password, and uh, just get them set up for that. So all you have to do for this is we're actually going to create a new user account. All right, so when you go to user accounts on the top, next thing you're going to do is go down to where you see new and then add user account. This is where you're going to create your username. I'm just going to name it ESX. Host name, keep as percentage sign. Enter a password you wish to use. I'm just going to use password. I know it's weak, but this data account will be deleted anyway. Keep it as native. And then you're where it says database for user and account. You're just going to do create database with same name and grant all privileges. The reason we are doing this is because it's just going to make it way easier. We don't have to manually create a database or anything. Leave all this blank and go ahead and click go. And you can see we have created a new user, and it's also created an ESX database over on the left-hand side. This is the details we're going to use. So we're going to come back over here. Our username, ESX, database password, we literally named it password, and our database name is also ESX, lowercase in this case. There we go. We have set it up correctly, and then we're just going to go ahead and press run recipe. And it will say, hey, your data is being uh, run. We're creating all of those databases. We're loading into them. We're getting it all set up for you. We're doing well. So it's going to take a minute just because ESX is huge when it comes to resources and time. So it's going to take a second to install everything. Um, I'll let this speed up and I'll be right back.
Alright, so you can see once it reek is done, it will go ahead and open this window. This gives you the server.cfg file in your resources folder. In your resources folder, you can see ESX has installed automatically with all the MySQL add-ins on everything. We don't even have to touch that, we're good to go. And your server.cfg file, if you go ahead and click next here, will say all of the insurer for starting everything up, add all the permissions required, add the extra stuff just to load everything, um, easy admin stuff is set up as well, just press save and run server, and then it will start running and you can see it is all started up correctly. We can now connect on our 5M server and we can just jump in 5M and connect ourselves. It's gonna go over where it says play when you're in game and type local host and you're gonna look for the name of your server. So you can see ESX YouTube tutorial built with the uh, Plum EXS. So you're gonna go ahead and click connect and you can see we are downloading all of the resources and are now connecting. All right, and we, as we get in here, you can see ESX identity is working. So I'm just gonna name myself I don't know what my birthday should be. What should it be? 01011920. Yes, I've been born in 1920, apparently. My height's 48 inches. Just go ahead and click submit, and you can see thanks for registering. Have fun. You can now actually set up your uh, hair colors and everything um, when you're loading in. Uh, there we go. So it has loaded this in now that I press enter, and you can see we have our health bar, our water bar, all our money and everything else is there, um, which is really, really cool. If I stand in here, obviously, um, it, we can do press E to access the job center, set up your jobs. So if I wanted to do a taxi job, there we go. I got a new job as a taxi driver and stuff. If I run outside, you can see it is just your typical 5M world. But if I press escape, you can see all of the different things on the map. You got taxi jobs, uh, garages, houses, stores, weed, a, a bunch of different things just to use on your server. And it is all set up for you. Uh, and it's that easy. So hopefully this did help you out quite a lot. Um, I know it's been a while since I promised this video was coming. I was kind of waiting for them to do something like this where it actually auto installs for you. So I'm super glad they have done that. Um, so thanks for hanging out with me today. Hopefully this did help you install it and hopefully get you started on your 5M server adventure. And I hope you have great fun with it because it is pretty fun trying to create a 5M server. All right. Have a great day, everyone. My name is Noodles. I'll see you in two days.